The New Jersey couple whose Gotham campaign for a hero hobo raised $400,000 kept him living like a hungry pauper on a trailer in their driveway while they splurged on vacations and a shoe collection to rival Imelda Marcos, his lawyer told The Post. Down and out Marine veteran Johnny Baba Jr. was scraping the bottom of a bottle of barbecue sauce for sustenance at one point, said Philadelphia lawyer Jacqueline Promislo. See also cops raid home of couple accused of squandering homeless vets cash cops on Thursday, raided a New Jersey home and towed. They started to spend money right after depositing the online donations meant for Bobbitt into their bank account last fall, Promislo said of Bordentown couple Kate McClure and Mark D'Amico. They went on shopping sprees, Promislo said. Bobbitt tells me they had a Louis Vuitton bag and Chanel sunglasses, a new iPhone 10. I know they spent a lot of money, she said, adding that Bobbitt told her the pair also amassed hordes of pricey night kicks. Until we have a forensic account and go through it, I can't say that they spent his money. But now that they say there is no money, where did it go? Bobbitt and the couple made national headlines last fall when, in a moment of selfless charity, the struggling opioid addict gave his last $20 to McClure after her car ran out of gas in a dicey Philadelphia neighborhood. McClure and Damico then set up a Gotham for Bobbitt that went viral, with more than 14,000 people donating a total of $402,706. But this summer, Bobbitt, 35, was found back on drugs and living under a bridge in Philly. He told reporters that McClure, 28, and D'Amico, 39, had locked him out of his money and may have spent it on themselves. The pair's home was raided Thursday by the Burlington County Prosecutor's Office on a warrant that included the seizure of their new BMW. McClure, a receptionist, and Damico, a carpenter, did buy Bob at a trailer and a used truck, Promislo said. But they never gave him the key to the truck, which they ended up driving until it broke down, she said. That left the trailer and Bobbitt stranded in their driveway, she said. Without access to his own money, Bobbitt ditched the trailer in June and began living again under the bridge, she said. Both trailer and truck have since been sold by the couple, she added. Promislo said that so far, her firm believes the couple spent $68,000 on Bobbitt. Taking into account Gotham's own fees, there is in my mind about $300,000 that was raised for Johnny that he doesn't have and that they now say they don't have, she said. He's really sweet, Promislo added at Bobbitt. Even Friday, he said to me, when we were meeting and going over his bank account, he said, you know, Kate's a very nice woman, said Promislo whose firm, Cozen O'Connor, is repping Bobbitt.